Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the water valve on your washer, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a putty knife, and a pair of slip joint pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now our first step of the repair will be to pull the washer far enough forward that we can first of all disconnect the power. We'll also need to disconnect the inlet fill hoses and make sure that we turn the water off first. Now next we're going to raise the main top. So using a putty knife we're just going to slide it in between the top of the front panel and the main top. Slide it over until you meet some resistance and that'll be a little spring clip. So depress that, lift up on it and hold it up. Do the same on the opposite side. And that will release the top from the front panel. We can then tilt it up into a vertical position and we'll need to support that against the wall. Now that will give us access to the outlet from the fill valve and the wire harnesses. We'll also need to remove a quarter inch hex head screw that secures that valve to the back panel. The screw is located just below the hot water inlet. So remove the screw and just lift up on the valve and push it into the opening. There's also a little spring clip here that holds that outlet hose in place. So we'll disconnect that and just set it aside for now. We can then lift that valve up to where we can disconnect the wire harness to it. So we'll remove the clamp on the outlet hose. And then pull the hose off of the old valve. Next, we'll remove the wire harness and just take note of the color coding and the location of the solenoids. We can discard the old valve, then we'll reconnect the harness to the new valve. Make sure those terminals fit nice and tight and if they don't we just take our pliers and give them a little crimp. And next we'll reinstall the outlet hose. it's firmly seated on the valve and make sure we orient that valve in the position that it will be sitting once it's installed. We'll slide the clamp down into position. And we'll lower that valve down into the cabinet and insert the inlets through the opening in the back. And press down so that the slots engage the back of the cabinet. We'll reinstall the quarter inch hex head mounting screw. We'll next reinstall that clip that secures the outlet hose to the back of the cabinet. We can now put the main top back down. We're just going to pull that forward enough so that we engage those spring clips at the front. Make sure it snaps firmly into place and is flush with the front panel. We can now reconnect our fill hoses and reconnect the power and our repair is complete.